Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Watches. This is a Giraga watch and the model is the A34 and this is a moon phase watch and it's an automatic. I bought it off AliExpress and including the VAT um, coming into the UK, it cost £28.33. Now, if you look at the face of this watch, it has a lot going on. So let's have a look at all these features in a lot more detail. The Jaraga is sent in an envelope, and inside there is a polystyrene box. And you just open this up. Inside is a little cleaning cloth. Now, you might be critical of one of these little boxes, but it keeps the price down and the watch actually came intact with no damage. The watch face is white, and then what you've got is you've got silver Roman numerals around the outside, and those are all raised, and you'll also see there's a second track as well. The name Giraga at the top here is in silver and that is actually raised as well. But the lower part down here you'll see there's a moon phase on it. The hands on this watch are in silver and they just go down to a sword blade shape with some loom at the bottom and you'll also see there's a second hand going around and that is in silver as well. The case on the watch is in stainless steel and I'll just show this around to the sides it's polished nicely there are no rough edges on any of the parts that I can feel on here even down close by the lower part of these lugs so it is finished quite nice you can see over this side the crown is unsigned but it's a nice grippy little crown to set the time on the watch, you pull the crown out to its first click and then you can just move this and set it to the appropriate time. And you can see as I'm moving the hands around, the second hand is still moving so this watch does not hack. And then once I set the time, just pop it back in and away it goes. Now although this watch is an automatic watch, you can wind this as well. And it has a power reserve of maybe about 40 hours. And all I'm doing is I'm just turning this clockwise and it just winds up nicely. The Giraga has a date complication. It's unframed and you can see that it's just at the top up here. And this pusher over this side controls this. And if I just click these over, move this in a little bit closer so you can actually see the function. It works very, very well. The dial over here is for the months of the year. And if I just press this over, you'll just see that it just drops over nicely. The little dial right at the bottom down there is for nothing. It doesn't do anything, it's just for decoration. But it just adds to the interest in the watch face. The dial over this side is controlled by a little pusher which is just on the side of the watch here and I'm just going to use the tip of a pen to show you what happens with this. And as I press this you can see it's just changing the days of the week. And again it's very accurate and it works well. The glass in this watch is hard legs and the clarity is good. One of the lovely features of this watch is its actual size. And across the case here, it's 40.5 mil. Now that really is quite good considering all the complications the watch has. The case thickness, again, is not bad at all really. And it's 30.5 mil. From lug to lug on the watch, it's 48 mil, and the crown is 6 mil. 
What's surprising is how good the loom is on this Giraga. And I love the loom pips around the outside. So for the price, it's pretty good. Having a look at the back of the watch, again, the case here is stainless steel. It's a screw down casement on it. It's got some marginal water resistance, again, just for hand washing and splashing. I wouldn't take this diving or anything. And then you've got the display window where you can see the balance wheel on the inside of this. It hasn't been engraved, but for the price of the watch, again, it's, it's, it's acceptable. Giraga comes with a black leather strap. It's 20 mil at the top and it actually tapers down to 18 mil. And it's again, okay. It's a little bit stiff, but for the price again, you can't expect too much on this. And to show you from the side, again, like it, it is that little bit stiff. That's a nice little buckle on the end from here, and it's unsigned. Now looking at the Giraga on my wrist, with its small dimensions of 40.5 mil, it does fit quite well. And I think it does look nice. I like watches where they've got lots of complications. Um, this is a busy face on a watch, but nevertheless, it looks good. Strap, again, looks nice on the wrist and it feels quite comfortable. Will the Draga fit under the cuff? Well, look at this. It does and it looks very nice and it fits well. It's not snaggy and with its smaller dimensions it does look quite nice. Again, business-wise it looks like a nice watch for there or if you just had it on the wrist and you showed it off, it looked good as well. So I'm gonna give that a 100% pass. Will the Giraga fit under the cuff with cufflinks? I've chose some ones that have got silver on the outside and black in the center. And I think it goes quite nicely with the watch and strap. But with the cufflinks, it fits well again. It looks nice. So I've got to give that a 100% pass. This watch just calls out to be seen. So my suggestions for clothing for this are short sleeve shirts. And I've put two up on the screen so you can see those. But if you want something a little bit more dressy, you know, a nice jacket, grey trousers, white shirt, and have the watch just below the cuff so everyone can see it. It'll look good. To sum up my review of the Giraga watch, it came in at under 30 pounds. And for that, you're getting an awful lot of watch, lots of different complications, and they all work well. The size of the watch is very, very good. The looks of it are nice. The leather strap on here is acceptable for the price. So can I recommend this? Well, for this kind of price, absolutely. Thank you so much for watching this review. Please remember I'll be doing lots of other reviews on other interesting watches in the near future. It will also help this channel immensely if you liked and subscribed. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe.